What's up survivalist Jason here. Today I'm going to show you an interesting plant that I found today. Now look at this. This is the wax currant. You can see by the leaves, the fruit, and then the bark. It's a great way to identify this plant. But from a distance I actually thought this was a rosehip bush and I was about to just dig in but after looking at the leaves I realized it definitely was not a rose hip. So there is a rose hip bush down over here. So let me give you a little comparison. Now right here, you can see the rose hip. It's smooth on the outside, has a protruding flower, thorns, and has an oval toothed leaf. But on the wax current, it's about like three lobed, but still toothed and has like a longer little flower protruding from it. So you could definitely mix these up in an instant, but they're both still edible. But let me show you the book that I used to find how edible this is. So here is the book that I'm using, Edible Wild Plants, a North American Field Guide to Over 200 Natural Foods by Thomas Alias or Elias. I don't know how to say that and Peter Dykeman. So you can try to find that book if you like. And I was just switching through the pages and I just happened to land on this. And I know it looked familiar because at first I didn't know what this was. But I'm lucky to find that this is the same plant. Wax current. There are different type of current plants out there there's even a poisonous one, the sticky current. And I don't think it has it in here. I'm not quite sure, but it looks more like this than probably another thing because I think I, I remembered to look it up and it was a little bit purple, though it's sticky current. So it's most likely wax current. So it's part of the gooseberry genus or current genus. And it is quite an interesting plant. So let me show you one of the fruits. So here is the berry and you could definitely see on the surface there's some type of hairs or glockets or whatever on the surface of it. And that really turned me off of it a little bit because I know in the rose hip they have really fibrous type of hairs inside with the seeds and if you get it in your throat it is really irritating and you definitely need like a whole bunch of water or whatever to just get them down or anything like that but this kind of worried me a little bit because of those hairs on the surface but if you know anything about these plants and if you ate them before let me know how to eat them how to prepare them do i have to worry about these little hairs on them but after like kind of rubbing a little bit it kind of takes them off but I'm not quite sure about it yet. So let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed this little video of finding a new plant with me if you didn't know what it was. So I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.